Hi there, uh, my name is Sean and you're watching the Ask How To Show. Um, today I'm going to start a series on 3D, uh, Corel Motion Studio 3D. Uh, this is a nifty little program, I use this uh, for doing my YouTube intros and things like that. You can make a whole bunch of creative uh, things with this simple program. Uh, it's reasonably priced as well. I can't remember what I paid for it exactly, but uh, I, I don't believe it was very much, maybe $50, something like that. Uh, and it's quite advanced for what you're getting for that money. So let's get started. Uh, for this video, I'd like to just show you the basics. Um, one thing I'd like to point out right away is that on startup, I think this is set to about 15%. I like to take mine and zoom it into about 25% so you have a little more uh, space to work with here. Now you can find that just up at the top uh, right here and that will uh, resize your preview window. Next thing I want to point out is down here in the bottom right hand corner uh, the 1920 by 1080 I've set mine for HD quality. Uh, so these are these are going to be sized to widescreen windows, uh, which which is nice. Lots of people watch YouTube videos in in uh, HD now. So in order to change that, you go up to Project up at the top, click and go to Dimensions, and then you can set this to 1920 by 1080, and make sure that this is set to pixels, and hit OK. Next, I'll uh, show you just how to uh, get some simple text on the screen. So, over in this corner here, you can uh, select the big T uh, for insert text. So we can insert some text. Now the program comes loaded with uh, several fonts. And I believe that you can load your own fonts uh, by saving them to the font folder uh, in the program files. Like I said, it comes with quite a few. Most of them look the same, uh, but there are some cool ones in here that you can play around with. Uh, for now, we'll just pick whatever. That one looks uh, A.R. Christie. That looks interesting. So you can also choose your size, italic, bold, etc. Let's hit OK. So now we have our, our text on the screen, which is uh, uh, should be centered right off the hop. Okay, so let's change the color of this text real quick. I don't really like this uh, gold yellowy color. Let's change this to, let's say, red. Just for a simple effect, let's make this spin around. So what we're going to want to do is uh, up at the top here, the little hand represents move. Uh, the little globe with the three arrows coming off of it represents uh, like uh, rotation and the one beside that represents uh, uh, resize so to get this to rotate let's move our timeline to five and rotate this now you can do this manually or you can enter the coordinates up at the top whatever you choose to do so your coordinates up at the top here so we'll rotate that to say right around there we'll move it to 10 rotate it slightly more 15 20 and let's say 25 will bring it back relatively where we had it when we started. Now if we slide this back to uh, 1 and hit play, we'll have a simple animation on our sample text. 
All right, let's add one more effect, and then we'll call this good for this tutorial. Now let's bring, uh, oh, I'm sorry, if you go down into your uh, timeline menu here, and go down to camera, and select camera, up in your attribute panel, uh, your camera will appear here. Now we can mess with the distance. So let's bring this all the way back. And uh, like we, like I said, we'll start back at one. Bring that all the way back. Zoom it right out. Now let's move this up to five. And we'll just slide our distance a little bit closer. Move up to approximately ten. And a little bit closer. Fifteen. Slightly closer. 20, a little bit closer. Now let's let this uh, zoom right past us off the screen here at 25. So if we slide our bar back to 1 and hit play, now your text uh, spins around in, zooms in right off the screen. So that's one of the simple effects that you can make uh, with the uh, Corel Motion Studio 3D uh, program. Uh, stay tuned for my next uh, in this series, and we'll get into some more in-depth uh, uh, things that you can do with this program. Uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. My name is Sean, and this is the Ask How To Show.